Hi, I'm Lenny McGill with Glock Store Performance Center and Master of Concealment. And I want to talk today about the world's best concealment holster. And the reason I call this the world's best concealment holster is because it is designed to last, you know, basically for a lifetime. All right. What's really unique about this holster, besides its simple yet effective design, is the fact it's made out of horse hide. Now, horse hide is much denser than cow hide, which means that this leather is going to last longer than a cowhide holster. And that's one of the reasons I really like it because, you know, I've had mine and, and I've had it for literally 15 years and it's still basically brand new. All right. Now, here's a couple things about this. It's got a steel insert here that you can see, you know, is a little bit malleable that helps you reinsert the gun and keeps it open when it's inside the waistband. This is an inside the waistband holster. So for those of you who don't know, it's IWB inside the waistband means that you actually wear the holster inside your pants like that. All right. And then the only thing that you see are the belt loops and you'll notice they snap open. So the belt loops would then go underneath the belt. All right. Now what you can also uh, see is that these can be taken off with a screw and they are available in black. So if you're wearing black pants, black belt, you have this, these two belt loops sticking out, they're very hard to see. All right. So that's uh, one thing that I like about this holster as well, is that you can actually dye them yourself or buy them in black. Now, one of the things about a new holster, especially a leather holster, is that it has to be broken in. This happens to be a brand new holster. This is my custom Glock 27. You'll see I've got a uh, a beaver tail grip uh, adapter on here. I've also got uh, an extended magazine with a magazine sleeve and I have a custom stippling job on there. Okay. And all of our other custom stuff. That's what Glock store is all about. <laughs> but so I'll take this 27 finger off the trigger at all times. And I'm going to go ahead and place it inside the holster. Now this gun is unloaded. I would always work with an unloaded gun, but I still want to keep my finger off the trigger. Just Good habit, right? So I'm going to go ahead and place it in. You'll see how tight it is. It's designed to be tight. See how it fits flush to the bottom. Okay. Now the concept of uh, inside an inside the waistband holster is there is no retention strap because it would be hard to operate for one because it's inside the waistband and two because it's so close to your body you should have control of the gun. You should be able to know that you've got control. But they are going to be tight. They're designed to be tight. So what you'll need to do when you buy a new holster like this is you need to sit down with an unloaded gun in your living room and watch an hour TV show. And literally during that hour, put the gun in and pull it out, put the gun in and pull it out. And I'm going to say two to 300 times because you want to develop a wear channel on the leather inside the holster from the gun. Okay. Now it is formed to the gun, but it does shrink up a little bit. So you need to kind of get this gun used to this uh, holster used to your gun and get it to the point where it softens itself up a little bit so that when you want to draw it, it's not yanking it out. That's just the way these leather holsters are. Some people call and say it's too tight. It's broken. Well, it's not broken. It's just not broken in. And the concept is you have to go ahead and take the time before you wear this out on the street to break the holster in and to make sure that it's going to allow you to draw smoothly. All right. That's just because it's leather. Now, oftentimes that'll change based upon the humidity and the heat or the cold. Okay. When it's hot, things expand. When it's cold, things contract. Humidity, same thing, different, different things happen. So be aware that, you know, you should always, you know, be testing your holster to make sure that you can draw from it. Now I'm going to go ahead and place this uh, on. And, um, you know, the process of putting the holster on is, you know, not pretty, but it's important that you, uh, first determine where you want to wear it. This particular holster again is inside the waistband. So I could literally wear it right here. Or I can wear it back around the back. And that's kind of where I'm going to put it today because that's kind of, you know, a little bit more traditional. But I like, because of my body style, to wear it here. One of the things you're going to notice when you wear an inside the waistband holster 
is you've got to relax your belt. Typically, one full notch. So I'm on the fourth notch here. I'm going to take this down to the third, give myself a little bit of extra room, and you'll notice the holster goes in a lot easier. All right. And basically, what I could do is I could feed it just like this. And I'm going to show you the easy way here. Just like that, snap it up. And if I wanted to cinch this down again, I could. It may be a little tight, but it would certainly give me the concealability I want. And now, put this guy right inside there, and that's it. That is a concealed carry holster. I'll tell you what, put a jacket, put a sweatshirt, put another t-shirt over top of this, and anything that comes down below the belt will allow me to conceal this gun. And to draw it, just get a good shot on it and draw it out. Now, again, you see that it was a little tight coming out. This is a new holster. So I didn't go through 300 repetitions. I really did about 10 or 12. So that's kind of how that works inside the waistband. I'm Lenny McGill. Thanks for watching.